guys how are you i hope you are all right welcome to another video uh, on the channel uh, today i want to talk about attitude flight so if you're going for instruments the first part of your flight it's going to be attitude flight which is basically just fly the aircraft with reference to the attitude indicator uh, assuming that you are inside clouds and you cannot see nothing outside okay so the topics that i want to cover are um so what is attitude flight um how do we do it and this part more for instructors but still what exercises to do if struggling with maintaining altitude because this is uh, a general problem that we see even in more advanced students if the basis for attitude flight are not very well established um they cannot maintain altitude uh, correctly in certain situations okay so let's go to it first of all so what is um attitude flight so first of all going back to basics let's remember when you first started flying well um you started flying in relation to the um, let me zoom this here you started to fly in relation to the natural horizon right like the natural horizon here yes and you know that if you want to maintain for instance altitude you need to have the fuselage of the aircraft a certain distance from the natural horizon with a certain power setting of course and you would search for the correct um let's say picture outside we uh, the, the correct attitude for um maintain to, to maintain altitude so the question is um for instance how many fingers we sometimes we, we use fingers how many fingers we need to have between the fuselage and the horizon to maintain altitude and we are speaking about maintaining altitude but this also applies to for instance climbing as you can see here the natural horizon is here on the side so where does the natural horizon needs to um, no, sorry, it's not there. Okay, now I can see. So the natural horizon is here, which in this case it's land. And where does the natural horizon need to hit my fuselage for me to climb at a certain, let's say, airspeed? Okay, when we are here descending, as you can see, um, so the natural horizon is here. So, a little bit up natural horizon this may this must be like a different type of camera because the horizon it's round right here but yeah you have the horizon here and the thing is uh what's the distance from the horizon uh of pitch down uh so i can maintain my descent maintaining a certain speed and we do everything in relation uh, to the natural horizon even the turns right if we come to the turns how can I turn? So you have here a certain angulation between the fuselage and the aircraft. That's uh, the sorry uh, between the fuselage and the um, and the natural horizon. So this is how you know that you're turning left, and you do everything in relation to the natural horizon. So now what we need to do is exactly the same thing, but in relation to an artificial horizon that we have here in our attitude indicator and how do we do that well the best way it's just trial and error we're gonna cover um, th uh, three uh, uh, sorry four things straight and level flight climb descend and turn okay so first of all uh, for training purposes uh, we're going to speak about maintaining altitude and track, climbing at 500 feet per minute and descending at 500 feet per minute. Okay, guys. So imagine that I want just I just want to maintain my um, altitude. So what I'm going to do it's not very good. What I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, select a certain power setting, and I'm going to try various hello my dear subscriber i hope you're enjoying the video and if you want to keep watching let's go to my patreon account 
I leave the link down in the description for you to watch the rest. Let's go!